Uh, so it started recording. I'm going to get some of that coral off my brush. I still want a little bit more of this blue here. And like I said, this is just the base layer. This is not the top layer. So this is not really what you'll, this is what will peek through behind the stencil. And I think I'm going to put just a little bit of white, just to make a little softer blend between the coral and the blue. Try that real quick for a minute and check the the yellow color that I used was an Arondac lemonade. It got I came it came from Tuesday morning, so it may be a discontinued color. It's a paint dauber, which I really don't like those paints very well. But it's lemonade. The this was a coral blush, and this was a spa blue from Americana. I'll do the sky, and then I'll work on the beach, right? Because I'll have to move the tape once it's dry. my Android, um, but I've never had an iPhone, so I'm not a big iPhone user. I had a Note, and then I had the Galaxy 5, and right now I have the Galaxy 6. But I'm not as happy with my 6 as I was the 5. And hi Dixie, and Tam, and Rain. And anyone else I miss. I had to go to school this morning and tutor and then judge science fair. Ugh. And they were still there when I left. And I was like, mm, I gotta go. I have an art life to attend to. Yeah, I just didn't really, I wasn't really, my husband had an iPhone, Eileen, and I just didn't like it. Have they changed the periscopes, Dixie, as in can you run it back and forth and speed through it, or... Yeah, I think so too, Dixie, that there's good sides to both. Hi, Ash. It's kind of like the, the Ustream versus Periscope and YouTube. There's probably benefits to all of them, both on the streamer side and the watcher side. And then there's things that one does better than the other.
<laughs> oh, I didn't download the Pro app. I just was using. I had. I took it off my phone because it kept making noise during class. Yeah, I think I like Ustream too, the best too, Eileen. All right, so now I'm ready to stencil in the top coat on the sky. And what I'm going to use is <clears throat> I'm going to use some dazzling metallics to give a little bit of shimmer and sparkle. And this one's a, just a bright blue. Ice blue is what it's called. And I'm going to focus that one more kind of on the top just so it draws your eye in. And then I have teal and I have a moss pearl because the color of her shower curtain is more of this muted teal so I thought that would kind of blend and then I had some Bahama blue and some sea breeze and what I did last time when I did mine the other thing I had was white pearl which I'll use for the clouds with some white after the fact one of these paints isn't open I hate these little wrappers that they put on them. Mainly because no matter where I throw them away, my cat will find this, the Siamese, and play with it at two in the morning. All right, so I can use those. I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff and clear up the space just a little bit. And all I'm going to do is, oops, sorry, did not mean to do that. All I'm going to do is uh, put some of these paints on my craft mat. You won't be able to see them probably very well because the canvas is so big. I really like this dazzling metallics in the teal. Now the dazzling metallics are um, they're sparkly but they're thinner. So like when I um, use them on the jelly plate, I tend to add paint to them because they're pretty translucent. And I'm just going to use a pouncer. And I'm going to start up here and grab some of the when I did mine this is all I really did is I just kind of worked between several colors just to get a blend that I liked And I will do the sides of the canvas. I think I'll probably do them kind of in the teal and the ice blue. Hi, Linda. Hey, Linda, I'm doing the beach today. But uh, she's going to have me do the city, too, for her living room. The girl that wants this city, but it's big. I can't, I don't know how I'm going to do it on camera. 
but I may just do the pieces in a string. Okay, not sure if I like that, but I'm going to keep working with it. And when I may, maybe when I come back in with the clouds. And the buildings will be on top of it, so I probably just need to let it go. do it exactly the same as the other one. And what I may do is just come back in and um, some stencil area and overlap some of it. Has anybody been, um, I haven't had time to even look like on YouTube to see about any of the CHA videos. I know a lot of them have been on Periscope. I'm not really worried. I'm getting stuff down here, but I'm not really worried about that. And my stencil is picking up some of the paint from the other layer. Again, I'm not going to worry. I'm going to kind of come in and blend and come back after that's dried a little bit with the stencil again. I mean, I may just even blot my stencil because I really want to because it's going to have beach houses. So, it's really going to be in the background. Yeah. Um, I don't use a lot of products that... Uh, no, this is a Claudine Helmuth uh, that I bought at... I want to say at Michael's. The one I'm going to use for the beach is one of the ones I cut from the Silhouette files. That more. 
paints. And I'm, like I said, I'm building up quite a bit of paint, so I think I'm going to, it's really that pink that I don't like showing through too much. See, I don't use, I have about four gelatos. I don't even use them because when I go in to add other layers, they smear and I know you can do things to fix them, but I just have started only buying the products that were permanent. That's why I use the ink tents and uh, that's why I bought the Faber-Castell marker, the pit pens over some of the others. All right, so I think what I'm going to do, I hit that again. I'm going to have to get used to that being there because my, it's farther for the periscope, I mean for the Use stream camera, it's farther out than my one that I use for YouTube. All right, and then on the sides, I'm going to do the same thing. Excuse my reach. trying to get some of the excess paint off my stencil just leaving some marks since most of this won't be visible I need to do the sides, which will be the challenging part. <laughs> Need like a third pair of hands. Okay. 
All right, so now that's let that dry for just a minute. There's a lot of paint left over. So I am going to get. Just ugly scrapbook paper. And I'm just going to add a layer of these paints and let it dry, and I'll jelly print on it later. But I just don't want to waste all that paint. Actually, I think I'll use This is what most of the buildings when I did the city were ugly old scrapbook paper that I got in a pack or someone gave you in a, you know, sale package kind of thing where you And I just start adding layers of paint on it and then I'll use it in a jelly print. Yeah, when I make uh, dresses for the girls that I do, I usually use the 6x6 six six scrapbook papers if I'm using the pattern because it's to, it's a better scale for the clothes. Yeah, sometimes just so, see, not seeing all of something, Ange, and just seeing a portion of it minimizes the, uh, oh, it's just not so. There's sure, there's a lot of paint in these daubers usually. I'm gonna do the clouds. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of white.
And I'm going to use a little bit of White Pearl, which is a dazzling metallic. probably hard to see on the camera right now. It might not be distinguished enough. Also, some of this blue's not dry enough or the stencil's still too wet. I wish I had a sink in my craft room. That's the one thing I... I'm trying to lay it on and not do too much blending. And use the same part of the stencil. I'm going to pull this tape off. So I'm going to put the base coat for the sand. Still not sure I like this guy at all. And I'm going to use uh, just Mississippi mud for the base coat on the, and then I'm going to add um, Americana's uh, chocolate metallic. Not that I see a lot of sparkle in this. in the sides here. I think when I do, uh, like, she saw the other one, so I know she has an expectation And so then I, it's different than when you just create the piece. And 
and it's not for anybody specifically. You're not second guessing yourself as much. You just kind of go with it. But if I don't like this, I'm going to base coat it again and just do it over with a different stencil. Because I'll be honest, I'm not sure. I like the sunset idea. And that was the wrong paint, but it'll be all right. Let me get this last side here. All right, and I'm going to dry that. Yeah, if I was just making it, I would just do it, and it would, I wouldn't worry about it. But because she saw one and wants that, and I'm not going to make the exact same thing. I don't even have all of the items I used. And what was ironic is I don't hardly ever make art for my house, for like me. And she was like, I want those two paintings. And I was like, um, those are for my house. <laughs> They're not for sale. Yeah, yeah, I could have done that. I really shouldn't worry because I'm not making any money. It's, it's a good friend. So she gave me back a canvas that we had done a long time ago that had just seen its life. So, and this one I'm just using the giraffe, and I'm using like an oyster pearl, a splendid gold, and a champagne was the idea, 
they may not be light enough, so I may have to add something else into it that's a little more opaque. I'll just have to see as I start to... Put them out. And I also have some heavier body copper and gold that I might add in if it's not. Uh, I think it'll be okay. I wasn't sure it was going to be opaque enough, so I th thought I might add in some Reeves. My phone's trying to search on Google. So I think I will throw in a little bit of that heavy body gold in there every once in a while just to give it a little more opaqueness. And this stencil is real thin, so I can just bend it over because it's made out of, and I did find the package. This is what I cut the stencils out of on my silhouette. Just the plastic index dividers that you get. Bye Ange. Hi Carol, hi Carrie. I'm doing a mixed media canvas. It was a beach scene that I had made with paint chips that are shaped like houses. Yeah, I figured they, they work just the same on the Cricut. See, and I'm losing some of the turquoise paint off the back of my stencil, but I kind of like it. It's kind of a happy accident that I have no problem with. And I like the Reeves gold. I like the consistency. So I'm just going to keep using some of that gold and then throwing in the champagne. See, I like the beach stencil. It doesn't. And it's not as many colors. And that may be what's the problem up here is that it's too busy for me and too many colors. You know the bottom it's kind of hard to see but I got the paint up at the top so if I move it up I'll push it into that paint this is a 12 by 24 gallery canvas
almost got this done on the sides too. I like the sand. I like the sand a lot. Still not wild about the um, sky. But I'm going to lay out the houses on top of it and see what I think once the houses. I'm afraid that it needs to be more not as wild. So I may have to back up and mute it out. I might just take a light alright so let me dry this real quick before I lay any of those houses on it let's see where the teal You can see right here a little bit where the teal came on it. I'll leave those paints too. What, just run that paint up? I'll move that back up. not doing any classes i have kind of like with Ange I'm sort of saving my money so that I have the possibility to go to Maryland which I gotta just bite the bullet and make a decision on here pretty soon I really want to go and I think that I'm gonna use the heat gun and blister some of this metallic paint Where it's a little thicker in the applications. Oh, I want to go rain. And my husband's like go. So it's just I'm afraid to commit and then I feel guilty about the money. You know. But we haven't had a vacation in like four or five years. So. I'm trying to wing it where we can go to Colorado at spring break for not very much money and that's a vacation and then I don't feel bad about it. and Bob will probably come with me if I go and just do stuff in Baltimore and Washington and I've never been to the East Coast so if I if we do it I want to come and go to Washington DC at least for a day and either that or I have a girlfriend that might come with me 
and I'm trying to convince her that she could art. That the art that we're doing isn't so hard that she could do it. She, that it's not like fine acrylic art. Like, we're going to paint a portrait now. So, like, you can jelly plate, Colleen. You can journal. You can do what we're doing. Yeah, I know. I feel. And it, if a bunch of them can't come, then it won't be the, this. It probably won't be the same. You know, it's just the idea of getting to meet everybody. That we've been talking to. Okay. Do you ever organize yourself so well that you can't find anything? I'm trying to find where I put the jelly printed houses. I showed them to you. So I had them. Huh. Oh, right in front of me. Okay. So, see what I'm worried about? Like, this will be a double, double decker. I don't think they pop enough. I think they're too blended with the sky. So, I am going to just take and paint out the sunset. And I'm going to use Oyster Pearl. And Spa Blue. I think I'm going to even use a different stencil. This is one of those brushes I bought that try to replace this. But the bristles, I don't like them. And I'm not going to stress about the skyline because most of that's going to get covered up with the road and the houses. been about an hour since I started the recording so I can go about 90 minutes and then I need to stop it and restart it right
those to the side. Clearing up some of the paints. And I think what I'm going to use is just an aquamarine from the Traditions. I like it because it's a little heavier than typical craft paint. The teal, the dazzling metallics in the teal. And just a little PBO. I don't have a lot of it left. It's the blue-green. Give this a dry. Check on the chat. Yeah, Linda, that would be like really cool is to be able to do both. To be able to do the Maryland and then the Canadian one. Or to alternate years. It's going to be hard um, to beat. the venue in Maryland because it's so like all inclusive but I imagine in some places you could get you know somebody wanted the business they would make you a, a deal you know if they wanted if they wanted our business and they knew it was something that was a, a large group you know if you go to a small place that it would be a boost in their tourism or some place that's just really neat. Yeah, I would have to get a passport too, Ring, because last time I went to Mexico or Canada, you didn't, you know, you could just, you didn't have to have a passport. Sled dogs, I mean. All right, this time I'm not going to put the, I'm not going to worry about you guys seeing the paint like where I have it. I'm just going to put it over to the side. I am almost out of PBO and need to order more PBOs. Been trying not to spend money, but there's some things you just have to have. Hi, Jess. All right, and I decided I didn't like the flower stencil, so I'm going to use my circles, which is really the opposite of what I had done originally. I had used the giraffe in the sky, and I had used the circles on the beach, so it's just opposite of what she actually saw. And this is one I, well, it's one that I cut, and it kind of messed up, so I just went with it and cut around the part that didn't cut, and, uh, I actually like it. It's one of my favorite stencils because it's not squared off. So I like how it ends. And then this one I can bend also. So I'm going to bend it real quick on the edge and just give it a little pattern. Yeah, I like that better. 
Because it's supposed to look like quilted fabric was the whole idea. Originally. And then I'm just going to overlap the stencil a little. Yeah, I would think the looms, there's something that they're going to push at CHA. Uh, not something I'm interested in, but... I think the coloring book like would be the market would be they'd think that it was saturated but I don't think I would invest in it as much if I were a store owner yeah I'm not on a real spending freeze but like if I run out of things I'll get um But I'm not really trying to spend any money on new supplies necessarily. All right, I like that a whole lot better. Just gotta work through the uglies, as Paula would say. All right, now I'm just gonna 
use up the rest of the paint that I have here on the sides. And then we'll be done with that, which I'm sure everybody is really done seeing me pounce paint through the stencil. See, and these stencils are so thin, you can just like wrap them. the side get a, a wet wipe maybe all right get all the stencils because we're done with the stencil part And the paints. I notice there's kind of a couple lines here that I have, but I'm not going to worry about those. I don't think they'll really matter much. I'll just put a tall beach condo. I think it looks better. I think it looks more like the. I mean, as if I, I'll show you the original again. I think it looks more like. See, the sky was the giraffe, and the beach was the circles, and it was supposed to look like quilted applique. So I think that it looks more like, in keeping with what the original was all right so it needs to be dry i'm just now got the in setting up for Ustream. i was able to like find a place in the studio to put the laptop so now that i can watch a stream and art it's harder to chat than when I watched it playing with sensor I think I'm gonna because there's some PBO in this there's a couple places that I may let it blister also. Which I kind of like to do with the heat gun. When I have metallics. This will be weird because when I upload this to Ustream, 
I won't edit it. And I'm used to being, like, taking so much time to edit the videos. Like, worrying about your watching the drawings or that it's moving too slow, you know, like who wants to watch paint dry? But with Ustream, I'm talking and we're chatting, so I don't feel that. I mean, I feel like we're not here just to watch how you're doing something, but to visit with each other and to art together. I think links are open, but I don't know if they're open. And if they're not open, I don't know how to open them. Yeah. You don't want to heat, heat set your hands or... I think that's dry enough everywhere that we can start. All right. And some of these are still going to blend. but we'll add layers to them. that right there I want to cover up I want to cover up that line and then I overlapped some of them Let me stand up and see. All right, I think that's what I'm going to go with as far as the composition. Like I said, once I start doing the houses, I think I can do things to help pull them out from the, the background. I didn't put any clouds in, but I don't think I'm going to worry about that. And I can also add some drop shadows in around the edges after their Mod Podge. Now I will tell you I'm going to use the matte deco page to adhere most of it but I'm going to use, I don't have a whole lot left, but I'm going to use the heavy gel from Golden's to put the paint chips down because they do take a little bit more effort to get them to lay down. And so usually what I've been doing is just kind of using the heavy gel medium Because if you use this, you have to almost let it sort of set up a little bit to get some tack, or they'll want to like roll up on the sides. The other thing I will say that I think will help is I brayered on the back of these when I was jelly printing, and I think having that 
thin layer of paint will also give more tooth and it'll have something to kind of adhere to. This one says hotel on it, so I think it said Grand Hotel, so I think I want I want some of that to show up. So I'm just going to trim a little bit of that, and I'm going to trim a little bit of this one. And just have it overlap. It's how I made some of the taller ones. Yeah, but I would definitely say the paint on the back is helping. The other thing I didn't do that I usually do a lot of times is sometimes I take a picture so that because I think I just this one to maybe I'll make it be a short house maybe that's what I Somehow I messed up where I had the tall and where I had the overlapping. See how this one's starting to push up again? And then I'm just going to come back in and tack these and try to
just have to be more liberal with the Yeah, I I tweeted her earlier um, so that she'd know. But I didn't know what her plans were today or what she was doing. Originally, I was going to stream yesterday, but it was just, we had a field trip, and by the time I got home, I was exhausted. So I think those are on good enough just to switch. so that if I use the pit markers, they'll glide and I can blend them. So I'm just going to put a real thin layer across the whole canvas. to Murphy's oil my brushes especially my glue brush because it's another one I just can't seem to give up it's one of those Donna Dewberry one stroke brushes and it's been such a good brush but I hate to retire it. Rain got censored again? Miko watches a lot of the Periscope. Alright, so while that's kind of tacky one of the things that I did on all the houses was I put kind of eaves and I just took scrap paper and cut it so that I could make 45s they won't match up probably and 
and I would just kind of decide which house I wanted them on. And that's how I started on the other one. So that's how I'm going to start. Because I was trying to add some print on print. All right. And a lot of these I use my little scraps. Like this is the top from a six by six pad where it had the hole punch. And I just tried to match them up. And start adding some applique look. This is a piece of like die cut ribbon that somebody sent me. I think I can get two. I think I'll save that other piece for a like a gingerbread trim. Like a railing. Most of the beach houses in Galveston are two and three stories. And the other thing I made is I took white paper and folded it in half and snipped and then took out every other one and opened them up to make wooden railings for the houses because Usually,
they have some kind of deck on the front. Tweet or carry and find out because I can break this, I can stream later, like I don't have to finish this now. Ash put her phone in a drawer so that she's, is she trying to go free from the, free from the phone? The other thing I wanted to use as a rail on one of these is I had a piece of scrapbook paper that was like a ruler. And I thought that could look like a rail. Yeah, it's a, they'll start. Oh, she's going to do JB5s tomorrow? Oh, okay. So I'm, I think I'm at the end of the 90 minutes. So I'm going to stop recording and then just start again.